welcome to today's video i'm still your own person chekube madichie uh, in this video we shall be learning how to convert uh, annual data into quarterly data um quarterly data is generated uh, four times in a year every three months unlike annual data which is generated once in a year now why people usually resort to using quarterly data is because most times data generated annually may be reasonably small especially when one is estimating a dynamic model now estimating dynamic model there are issues of over parameterization as well as losing or losses of degree of freedom and this can result to the problem of micro numerosity and because of that people resort to converting annual data into quarterly data this is simply a statistical issue it is a statistical issue in the sense that the quarterly data the conversion from annual data to quarterly data does not really warrant or bring about additional information into the system and there are a lot of problems actually that are associated with this conversion but then it allows the researcher uh, enough degree of freedom because when you are estimating dynamic model you tend to lose certain degree of freedom so because of a, a larger sample size it gives room for a, a lesser loss of degree of freedom so um, that is by the way now the way to go we are already on this work file we have created this work file we want to make a conversion assuming we are converting re gdp which appears in its annual form as we have 1970 to 2015 and this is re gdp if you open it you see that it is generated annually 1970 1971 1972 1973 and so on and so forth and we want to convert to quarterly now what we are going to do is to open a new page open a new page within this same work file like this is the first page open we call it page one so this is a new page we open a new page you click here you move up and choose specify by frequency stroke range okay now we see something that looks exactly like what we see when we are creating a new work file this is work file creates what we already know about on this drop down key we still leave it at dated regular frequency now this is annual data uh, the drop down key shows the option so we are trying to convert to quarterly data we choose quarterly every other thing remaining the way it is we call this one page two so this is all we need to do here we click ok now having done that we have a new page where the data range is now in quarterly form uh, 1970 first quarter to 2015 fourth quarter giving us 184 observations now what we are going to do here is to return to the first page and copy the series rogdp we copy the series rogdp and return to the page two where we have the work file for quarterly data is a very simple process that we are going to right click and go to per special you can see the per special here we click on that now in this uh, box here we are going to make certain selection to ensure that we are doing the right thing so here we say paste as series so we are going to paste this as series by value we click on paste as series okay we leave it uh, with dated with frequency conversion 
here we assume low to high frequency is already by default low to high frequency because if you look at the data we are working with uh, it has grown it has an upward trend over time okay it has, it has an upward trend from 1970 to 2015 there's an upward trend so we are going for low to high frequency method under it we see the drop down key where we select the uh, method so we go for linear so we assume linearity in this upward movement so starting from the first to and not the last actually so here we have first starting from the first okay so this is all we need to do here before we click ok and if we click ok now we have gdp pasted arrow gdp pasted in this new work file so it has already been converted to quarterly data you can click on it and see that it has already been converted to quarterly data can you now see that 1970 q1 1970 1970 q2 1970 q3 to 4 before 1971 begins so we now have uh, a new work file having the quarterly uh, quarterly data conversion of ro gdp so this is a very simple step to this conversion and then um, feel free to ask questions drop your comment make suggestions make contributions uh, we will attend to all the questions all the suggestions and every contribution made and thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to, for more videos to come thank you very much for uh, your time